Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my Disney Princess Challenge in The Sims 4. So today we are just going to kind of start off Tiana's story. Finally, Tiana's story is starting. I know that we're on like the fourth part of Tiana now, but officially we can start her story. So what I was thinking that we might actually do is, uh, well, she, I've just, I'm getting her to collect these things that are around the, um, their house right now, just so that we can kind of get some extra money. But basically I thought that because we do have this empty lot right next to us, I figured that maybe we'd open up a little restaurant to kind of go with the scenery here. Now I did actually just spend uh, about 10 minutes changing the outside of these two homes outside here just so that they kind of fit in with the, uh, the theme of the neighborhood just a little bit better. So this house over here I didn't change anything besides where the front door was and um, obviously how the outside of the house looks and then same with this house over here. I well, I didn't actually change where the front door was on that house. It's actually um, placed fine. But I did go ahead and I changed the outside of the house to make it look kind of more like wooden and brown to obviously match the house that we made for the uh, the Tiana household. The Tiana household? The Charming household? The Prince household? I don't know what their actual last name is. But I know that this is like the season's... Uh, craftsman kind of style but it's brown and so I figured that you know the easiest way to get the other houses in the neighborhood to match was to have them be brown at least so if you kind of have a look at it from maybe this angle back here you know that they kind of like it kind of looks like a neighborhood do you know what I mean <laughs> I don't want the houses to look like out of place or anything like that so that is uh, what I have done. Now also I went ahead and I bought the mixology book so that Tiana can kind of work on that for the bean blender, whatchamacallit. I'm also, um, you know, the barista uh, job, but also we should probably go ahead and uh, have Tiana join the, um, the job that she actually wants to do in this episode. And I'm pretty sure that you do have to work on the mixology skill for that as well. So if this computer would actually allow me to click on it, that would be great, but it's not allowing me to click on it. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I guess we'll just try to do it through her phone. I'm sure that's uh, an option. Wait, why is like nothing letting me do anything? I'm okay. I'm a bit confused. Can I just go into build by and maybe that'll fix it? Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, I'm really confused. It seems like it's paused because the time's not moving and nobody's moving around, but I can't I mean, I can, oh, now I can pause it. I'm gonna have to close my game and reopen and I'll be right back. Uh, never mind. it randomly decided to work. I didn't actually have to close the game at all. So I guess uh, we're good to go already. So as soon as, oh wait, oh, wait, is she still reading the book? I was kind of hoping that she would uh, read the book and then we'd, okay, good, she's reading the book. Oh, Cinderella's gone to work today. Uh, typically I would have liked to have, I would have liked her to have worked from home, but that's okay. Oh, Evangeline is all stinky. We can probably get Tiana to uh, give her a little bath, I suppose, because um, uh, because Cinderella left already. So let's just uh, see how we go with that. Actually, can you just like stop reading the book, please? And we'll just try to get you into the career that we want you to be in. Look at the shoes that she's got on for her job. I, I highly doubt that you can actually be a barista with these shoes on your little tootsies. <laughs> But uh, anyway, let's just see if we can get Tiana that uh, job as an upcoming chef. Although it kind of seems like she's going to be giving Evangeline a bath first. So I suppose we'll do that. Or is she doing both at the same time? I think she may be. Yep, there we go. So if we just go into the culinary career, she'll be working 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, every day except for Tuesday and Wednesday. Cool, cool. So, um, yes, we would like to quit the position of a bean blender. And now we're going to be uh, a caterer. Cool. So, oh, that means we're already level three. That is so cool. So Tiana has quit her job at the Frothy Foma. She decided it was time for a new direction career-wise. Indeed, indeed. Tiana is now a caterer at Make a Dish. She starts Thursday at 3 p.m. So we uh, don't even have to go to work today, but what is this outfit that she has on right now? I do not like it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But oh sweet, okay, so she's actually going to give Evangeline a bath now. 
Oh, our mohawk guy has changed his mohawk color. So I love that. I'm sure it used to be green. Oh, look at Tiana giving her little sister a bath. This is so wholesome. So if you guys have any ideas of what sort of uh, bu building we should kind of try to make for Tiana, I was thinking that maybe it should have like a little bit of um, a situation up top where she could live. And like, I mean, technically she'd live here, but we'd have her like spend most of the time at the restaurant, which will be just next door. I just figured it would be easier to have it in the same neighborhood rather than trying to go over to like maybe say Magnolia Promenade or something like that. I think it would honestly just be much easier if we just kind of kept it all close to home. Uh, we don't want, no, we don't want her to be fired from her job. Can that just not happen? Thank you. <laughs> oh, we have a mess to clean up down here. Now, Tiana also has to go ahead and read that book again. So Mixology Volume 1, because as you would have seen over here, she does actually still have to reach Mixology Level 2 uh, for her catering career. Oh, Nehemiah aged up to a young adult. Wow. Oh, wow, that is so cool. And um, no, I still have not given him a makeover. I promise I will do it. I really will. I will definitely do all of the makeovers that I need to do. Tiana's also quite hungry, so we may actually have her go ahead and serve up some brunch because surely little Evangeline will get hungry pretty soon as well. Oh, Evangeline's going to go make a mess. Oh my goodness. Giving Tiana a run for her money. And also we should probably go ahead and pay the bills. Oh, what were we repealing? I don't actually re recall what we were repealing. Oh, the free love. We should probably get signatures for that too because we don't want uh, any... Um, random acts of love happening <laughs> um under our roof again also should we uh oh yeah we should probably actually go ahead and uh buy a restaurant too see how much it's gonna cost because we also have an inventory full of items from the old house which we can sell and hopefully make a little bit of money from or rather a lot of money from so that we have enough money to kind of get the restaurant up and running how's tiana doing with her skill Oh, not the best to be completely honest with you, but if we could just, oh, oh yeah, cool. We have like 5,000 reward points. So how about we go through here and we find something that will help her get her skills faster. I mean, honestly, she needs a steel bladder because that would just be really hard to run a restaurant with uh, needing to go to the toilet all the time. So we'll do that and maybe, oh, done. We, I shouldn't have done that because we could have gotten her the savant. Oh well, that's okay. Maybe we can actually just go ahead and make her a morning sim and a night owl as well so that she can gain skills quicker in the mornings and in the evenings. And we'll make her a speed reader too. Okay, that actually is really good. So then if she is able to read the Mixology book faster, it means that she can, uh, you know, um, uh, get her skills up faster. So she needs to achieve level 5 cooking skill, cook a gourmet meal and earn silver at a dinner party event as part of her aspiration. That sounds actually doable, so that's good. All right, so she has finished with reading the book, it seems like. So she's just going to go ahead and make the food now. Uh, I don't know why there is just dirty laundry everywhere. If only Cinderella or Jacques was at home, because then I could get them to help us out with uh, all of this stuff. Oh, it's okay. So it seems like we have two signatures for the uh, to get rid of the free love. So obviously we need to kind of get some more for that. Right, so if we just kind of buy the space here, it's 2000 and it's called the Lewiston, I think because I, I must have placed a house down there and then demolished it, but that's okay. So we'll buy that for now because then that will be 2000 simoleons. And then all we have to do is make sure that we have enough money to build a restaurant there. We're not going to do it this episode, but it will be coming. All right, so we do actually have to transfer money over there. So we should probably transfer like a lot. So maybe we could do like 60. Okay, so maybe we'll transfer about 60,000. Uh, oh, whoopsie. Um, yeah, from here to there. Oh, I got rid of it by accident. But let's go ahead and we'll transfer 60,000 so that we can actually get the things that we are going to need. But for right now, maybe we'll just kind of leave it at that. And we will have to rename this. We'll call it Tiana's Palace because that's what it's called in the film. So we are just going to leave it at that for now. And so technically Tiana is now um, the, uh, the owner of this space here, but we are just gonna uh, pop on back home now. Now 60,000 is definitely not enough to get the restaurant up and running. So we are going to have to really 
uh, make sure that we were able to get the money that we're going to be needing. Now, uh, why do we still have mail? I thought that we checked the mail. Let's go ahead and collect the mail. Oh, you know what? There's probably, um, what's it called? Like presents in there or something. Yes, yeah, so here's like a little present for Evangeline. She can go ahead and play with that. Oh man, she is just the cutest little bean. I'm telling you right now, you guys, I love her so much. But um, I want Tiana to not be in this outfit. So I think I might actually change her out of that. There we go, looks much better now. And oh, another thing is we have to find her. Well, I mean, eventually we do have to find her uh, somebody to love. Now I did ask on Twitter, for you guys to put up some sims with like green eyes or whatever on the gallery. Now I don't know if anybody has done that so if I check the hashtag and there's nothing there then that's embarrassing but I'm just gonna see. So if you would like to put any men up on the gallery for Tiana the hashtag that I'm going to be checking out will be Ruby Red DPC for Disney Princess Challenge. Okay so there is nobody on there at the moment but that's okay because maybe I can just go ahead and type in DPC and maybe there'll be some sims that were for other people's challenges that we can kind of uh, take from there. Oh, Prince Hans. Wow, okay. There's a lot of, uh, I think, do you know what? I think that these are probably all for like Clash of Vaughn's Disney Princess Challenge currently. Oh, there's a version of Sven. I love that so much. This Tiana right here is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. She's seriously so beautiful. This is going to take longer than I thought. <laughs> I might actually have to uh, go through the gallery off camera at some time, at some point. I mean, you know, the other thing that we could do is we could maybe look up Prince Naveen. Because if we get a Prince Naveen, maybe we can have Prince, like the actual Prince Naveen, be in our challenge. And hopefully, hopefully our Tiana likes him. So maybe I'll go through some of the different Prince Naveens and we'll choose from them but um not right now for right now we're actually just going to uh get out of there and uh i'll think about it we'll um we'll get there we'll get to where we need to be uh, for right now i don't know i feel like i'm just kind of trying to sort out what we're gonna do for <laughs> this episode i don't know guys like it's always weird starting off like a new generation you know what i mean you know i do realize that like uh, Tiana is supposed to lose her father before the end of her young adult life, but I kind of, um, I feel like maybe today should be the day that, um, Mr. Jacques Charming does not come home from work, because, like, if you think about it, in the film, he, um, he isn't actually still around when Tiana actually does eventually start up the restaurant. So I've just, uh, I've saved the family to my gallery for now, just because I don't want to lose Jacques forever. But um, we are going to have to, um, well, I mean, he's in the military, right? And so obviously something's happened. They've uh, gone into uh, unknown territory and he just so happened to not make it home alive. So technically he did just come home because I couldn't actually kill him while he was off the lot. He got promoted to Warrant Officer, which is level 5. But the thing is, uh, as I was saying earlier, he did actually not um, make it back to uh, the military base. Um, I'm not sure which one of these would be most likely. Maybe overexertion? I feel like maybe he just... Maybe he pushed himself too far at work today and that is just what has happened oh wow there was like no animation or anything that just kind of happened oh boy wait do we get like a tombstone or anything for him wow i was really not expecting that to happen so quickly wait are we gonna get like sad moodlets like i oh my goodness i'm like really sad what just happened what on earth well, you guys, it is official. Jacques did actually, unfortunately, pass away at the uh, before they got back to the military base. And I don't have his tombstone because for whatever reason, the game just like completely glitched out on me, which was really annoying. But um, so now Tiana feels a strong need to get that restaurant up and running because it was um, it was Jacques' 
and Tiana's dream to do it together. So now that she has lost her father, she definitely feels like a stronger need to get that up and off the ground and like, you know, ready to go sort of thing. Oh man, I'm really sad that there was no like animation or anything like that. And I'm sad that they don't have the sad moodlet or anything like that. It's just, I mean, if that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. But um, let's just imagine that Tiana is really, really sad and oh she i mean evangeline's not very happy at the moment maybe she can just eat this garden salad that tiana was eating but tiana feels the need definitely now to uh well more than ever to get her skills up and uh make as much money as she can with her career so that she can actually get this uh, restaurant up and off the ground she definitely feels that right now more than ever is the best time to work her hardest in order to get the uh get in order to build the restaurant of hers and her dad's dream definitely uh she is more motivated than ever right now uh so cinderella just came home and we've, we have anastasia here and then look at who is over here this is drizella and um she has some christmas uh what are they called some christmas eyelashes going on there a little eyela eyelash a little eyebrow piercing i don't know what this outfit is i don't know what she thinks she's wearing but um, Cinderella did actually just come home from her uh, from her gardening career, her job, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will just actually have her work from home from now on because I don't really like that she leaves the lot. So we will just go ahead and we will have her tend the garden and sell all of their produce. And she should probably like bond with her bees and stuff like that. Now, obviously, nobody is feeling sad because the game like just decided to not work the way I wanted it to but you guys know they're, they're upset they're definitely upset but they realize that life does go on and as much as they miss Jacques they just have to soldier on and do their best in life oh no voting is now closed and the re the repeal of free love did not succeed well that really sucks okay well we have to wait for Friday to uh try to repeal that again I was really hoping that we could get rid of that one but I mean if that's what happened then that's what happened uh, okay, so Tiana is doing some cleaning up, which is really good. It's really sad that Cinderella got her happy ending, but then she ended up losing her husband. But, uh, you know, you never know, maybe she'll find somebody else and that will, uh, somebody else who will fill the void or, no, not fill the voids, that, that sounds really bad. Maybe she will find somebody else who, uh, will be her, um, her next one true love, her final one true love. But, you know, guys, this is how uh, this challenge goes. This is the rules. We just, you know, we have to follow the rules. And, you know, sometimes it sucks. But, like, you've got to do what you've got to do. So what is Tiana doing standing out here? She's literally just, like, standing around. Wait, what's happened? Dog passed away? Well, I mean, now they're going to be sad. But it's not going to be because Jacques passed away. It's going to be because, oh my goodness, Cinderella's oldest brother passed away. That is so horrible and he never found himself a wife or any children oh my gosh this is really sad oh my gosh so not only do we have to say goodbye to Jacques we oh my gosh he's like complete they got rid of Jacques Jacques disappeared from the game no he didn't it's okay oh my goodness that really that really scared me that he had disappeared from the game but not only has she had to say goodbye to her own husband but now her oldest brother as well that is so sad. The sad things just keep on happening. I guess, you know, that's just, it just be like that. Well, um, this is not how I thought that this episode was gonna go, you guys. I thought we were just gonna kind of set up the, uh, the circumstances of Tiana's generation. But, um, it's, I mean, I guess we still are, aren't we? We are. It's just things are seeming much more sadder now. So Tiana's gonna go ahead and put her little sister to bed and uh cinderella is singing in the shower which is good i suppose but um man i'm really sad i'm really really sad so now that tiana knows that her mom is extra extra sad due to losing her husband and her brother in the same day essentially she is definitely definitely super 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 determined now to go ahead and fulfill those dreams of her and uh, her father 
And of course, her mum is super, super uh, supportive of the the whole situation. She's super supportive of Tiana opening up her own restaurant and running it in uh, in memory of her fa- her father. Oh my goodness! Wait, what? Chat with Jacques. Wait, is he here? I thought for a moment that he was here. I don't understand how we didn't even get like a little tombstone or anything so that we can mourn over him. Oh my gosh, Cinderella, my love bug. I'm so sorry I had to do that to you. All right, so um, this is future me here, <laughs> guys. I did actually go back and I went to Jacques and I used MC Command Center to revive him. And then I actually realized when I watched the footage back that Jacques wasn't on the home lot when he, um, when I clicked on the, the kill sim option. So that's why we didn't get a little, um, urn. So basically what I did was I made sure that he walked into the house and then re-killed him. And so now Cinderella actually has the, um, the sad moodlet and Tiana has, um, losing a parent sad and, um, yeah, obviously Cinderella. Yeah. And everybody is, um, sad as they should be. I just thought that I, I don't know, I feel like I needed to do that for storytelling purposes, but um, so we do actually have Jacques' uh, ashes here, so we can go ahead and bury him in the backyard when we're ready to, and um, give him a little tombstone and all of that stuff. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that, and now uh, back to the episode. But again, you guys, this is how this generation had to go. Of course, this is how the um, the the story in The Princess and the Frog goes as well. Tiana's father did pass away and it is alluded that he passed away uh, while at the military. But you know, I think I might just uh, kind of get these guys all situated, get them to take their showers and eat their food and then um, put themselves into bed. And then I'll be back in the morning. But uh, looks like Tiana is not actually going to work until Thursday so we're just going to have to um we'll have Cinderella work from home we'll have Tiana uh obviously just kind of working on her mixology skill and we'll just get her prepared to start her life as a caterer oh my goodness Justine Lewis had a baby with Nehemiah Nehemiah literally just aged up into a young adult like today and he's already pumping out children <laughs> Oh wow, and Rochelle had a baby. Oh my goodness, Drizella's daughter had a baby. Oh my gosh, you guys, uh, I don't usually have so many of my households um, as unplayed, so I'm like, I'm so not used to getting all of these like grandchildren and their their grandchildren and everything like that. It's all, this is all new to me. So um, Cinderella's actually up for the day now. So she's just going to get herself some breakfast. And of course, she's feeling very, very sad. Oh man, and now she's thinking about her mum. Oh my gosh, this is probably like the saddest episode yet, you guys. Oh, I hate it. It's, you know what, we need to... We need, to, uh, we need to think about the future and we need to remember that pretty soon we're going to be uh, opening up our very own restaurant. We've bought the space for the restaurant. Now we just have to go ahead and uh, start building that restaurant up and doing everything that we need to do in order to be successful with that. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and we'll sell the dragon fruits because obviously every cent is going to help with uh, putting towards the restaurant. We'll have Cinderella do a little bit of bonding with the bees as well. Oh, we can also sell the stuff out here and they don't need watering, which is fine. Who is this over here? Devonte Villarreal. The Villarreals and the Goths, I swear, they take over my save files all of the time. But I mean, it's okay. It's totally fine. Still doing the push-ups, the constant, constant push-ups. Actually, speaking of constant push-ups, since Jacques is no longer in the picture, we can get rid of this little military fellow thing over here. So we'll just go ahead and sell that. So this is our household inventory. So as you can see, there is a lot in here that we can uh, get rid of. Oh, we even have some dragon fruits. I mean, I guess we may as well go ahead and sell those. We don't need this mirror. We don't need these curtains. We can definitely get rid of them. And wow, the aim is being so laggy right now. Uh, we don't need these pieces of rug. 
Oh my gosh, we need this painting. I don't know why this painting isn't already up on the wall. I mean, painting? I mean, the, the photo of Cinderella and Jacques. Wow, that lag is real. Yeah, the photo of Cinderella and Jacques from the prom where... Um, what? Oh, no, I don't think it's where they met. Maybe it is where they met. I don't quite remember. No, it wasn't where they met. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm so confused as to why the game is being so, so super laggy. So I'm... Ew, there's like a pet poop in our inventory. Gross. I am just going to uh, get out of build mode because obviously the game is not liking it at the moment. So we'll just go ahead and we'll go back to live mode here. Oh my goodness. What do you mean chat with Jacques? Where is he? I literally cannot see him yet. She keeps getting these little interactions or whatever you want to call this saying that she's talking to him and she has this whim to compliment him but again I don't see where he is. Uh, Cinderella will work from home today please. Okay so she needs to research gardening. Oh she has to get her logic skill up as well. So I think that we have to get Cinderella her own computer because I think that that one's locked to Tiana so I will just go ahead and quickly do that. We can honestly just like copy this one here and uh, put it elsewhere. I guess we'll just go ahead and pop it down there for now. I know that that kind of looks a little bit silly, but I'm just gonna do that for now. And then Cinderella can come over here and hopefully it will let us, I don't know why the game is being so darn glitchy today. Please load the menu. Okay, there we go. So uh, we have to go to web. Where is web? Why am I blind? There we go, web. And then research uh, gardening. So go ahead and do that because you have to do that for work. You also, we should probably purchase a logic book so that you can uh, obviously get your logic a little bit higher. There we go, logic suite. And then after you're done researching gardening, you can go ahead and read the logic book. And then that's you all sorted for the day. Now Tiana has to continue reading the mixology book so that she can get her uh, skills up in that as well. It's the morning so hopefully she will uh, gain the skill quicker because it is the morning. Oh I hate that these guys are so sad. It's like seriously making me like super super sad. Oh Evangeline's hungry. She should probably pop herself up and go ahead and grab that garden salad. How wait did you do your research? Oh okay you did and then you're gonna go ahead and read your book which is obviously what I wanted you to do so that's all fine. Well, are you still reading the book or are you talking to Evangeline and picking her up and putting her back down every two seconds? <laughs> Evangeline's hungry. I told her to come out here and eat, but then you guys are just like, you, you guys have interrupted her going to eat and <laughs> so she can't eat now. Tiana, sweetheart, I need you to read the book that I asked you to read. If you could do that, it would be lovely. I don't know what happened to the book. It has disappeared. Is this the book? Oh yeah, cool. So can you please go ahead and read that because you haven't gotten your skill up yet. And Cinderella, sweetheart, have you started reading the logic book? No, you haven't. So can you please go ahead and start reading that logic book? And the maid is over, obviously, to tidy up around the place. And okay, good. So we've got Tiana. Oh, sweet. She actually just reached level two of the mixology skill. That's perfect. All right. And so she also has to prepare food or mix drinks. So we'll go ahead and we'll have her serve some pancakes for lunch. Uh, I don't know why she keeps doing push-ups, seriously. But um, yeah, so I know that this episode didn't exactly go the the way, I mean, I didn't, I didn't fully have a plan for this episode. I knew that I wanted to start trying to figure something out in terms of Tiana's love life and the restaurant. And I was kind of avoiding the whole Jacques having to die situation because I didn't really want it to be like super sad. And funnily enough, it didn't turn out to be super sad because the game just kind of decided that they, it was just going to get rid of him. There was no animation. The Grim Reaper didn't come. He literally went from alive one second to being a ghost and not part of our household the next second. But um, yeah, so I mean, that happened. So that is something that we now don't have to worry about having to do in the future. So basically all we have to do now is we need to build this restaurant. I think I might look up some floor, plan uh, some floor plans and I'm going to try to figure something out with that uh, as soon as I can. And then we also have to find uh, somebody for Tiana to fall in love with. Uh, he has to have like green eyes or green hair or something like that. I don't want to go like 
too weird with it so probably just green eyes or even just like somebody who wears green outfits uh, but anyway, you guys, I think I may just go ahead and end this episode off here. So if you are enjoying the series, please do remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And while you're there, why not click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time. Bye, guys.